In a new article from Wired, Bungie lead concept artist Dima Goryanov speaks about the darkness. Goryanov gives some great insight into the history behind the darkness, how it's a neutral force but altered by the witness. Murals of ancient history, differentiation between disciples and their ships, and tons more. Welcome everybody, today we discuss more secrets of the Witness's Black Fleet. As mentioned, this comes from an article written by Wired, which has some awesome information for Destiny fans. Today we'll read some of these quotes and paragraphs, but I encourage you to check out the full article below if you wish. First up, Wired asks about the Pyramid's palette, how ancient these ships are and Savathun's throne world, abandoned versus Savathun's new taking of the light in Witch Queen. As with many aspects of Destiny, when designing the visuals for the Pyramid palette, we wanted to make sure that all of the grandiose and fantastical elements are to some degree still grounded in the familiar. The sense of scale, austerity, and mystery found in ancient Egyptian, Babylonian, and Sumerian architecture provided a strong foundation for us to build upon. Once we had some of those baseline features figured out, we can then combine them with elements of paracausal mysticism, abstract art, esoteric graphic design, cosmic mythology, etc. All of this is meant to depict the pyramid fleet as something that is rich in history and full of character. So just playing Destiny, this seems to be very true. We visited different pyramids from the moon to the one on Europa and Rolks, and inside each one has been different. We've only seen one outfitted for a disciple in Witch Queen, which had a dark city, a scorn, museum, and so on, but it really does make you feel like each of these ships is their own character. Next up, Wired asks about the murals. Goryanov responds, There's most certainly a purpose to the graphic design within the pyramids. Without going too far into specific detail, the high-level goal was to add a sense of culture and history to these ancient spaces. In Ralk's Pyramid, we were introduced to some of these murals. Some don't make sense to us at this point in time, which is okay. It really does nail home the fact that some of these are ancient species like Ralk was back on Lubre and has his own history he's keeping track of. We can make sense of some of these, like this one right here with all the symbols we're familiar with, but others are so abstract we can't define it. Next question was, are ship designs based on a theme or do disciples characterize them? It's a bit of both really. The ships we have seen so far definitely have unique overarching themes, but the beings that occupy them certainly influence what you may find. In some ways, this variation in visual themes is a way to show that the darkness itself is varied, enigmatic, and complex. Much like a character, it can evolve over time, revealing new details or creating new mysteries. This aspect is what makes it one of my favorite visuals to work on within the Destiny universe. Wired went on to ask about pyramid tech and the involvement of the Witness. The aim of Pyramid Tech was to suggest a culture that has existed long enough for art, technology, and science to converge and become indistinguishable from one another. Hopefully, this direction also creates a balance between relatability and mystery. As far as the relationship of these visuals to the witness, I think they speak to the strategic and elegant nature of this being. All we know is that there is a plan and pieces are being moved into place. What sets pyramids apart from other forms of darkness like the Black Heart and ship infestations like on board Glycon or Leviathan? The darkness is a neutral force of nature that can be interacted with in many different ways. What we're seeing with the pyramids is a result of the witness's interaction with this force. It is the physical manifestation of experiencing the darkness through the lens of the witness's history, culture, and ideas. Outside the Witness's influence, the darkness may take on a completely different form and be used for a completely different purpose. So this was a big one for me. Ever since Season of the Lost, when Marasov would tell us about the voice in the darkness that Zivu followed, which would turn out to be the Witness, many wondered if this was the darkness itself. In my travels, I have seen true evil. It is the worm gods that the hive serve. It is the Black Fleet waiting to strike 
It is the entity that commands them all. The voice in the darkness. These creatures are not evil because they wield darkness. They are evil because, like Sathun and Zivu Arath, they are cruel, hateful things with no regard for the lives of others. But as Mara explained to us, no, this voice in the darkness, the witness, wears the darkness like a cloak, harnesses and uses its power for its own agenda. Gorinov says that the darkness is just a neutral force, as much as the light can be. The reason we see it as bad currently is what the witness is doing with it. Otherwise, the darkness is just another force out there in the universe waiting to be used, like stasis was. We use darkness, but not in an evil way like the witness is, or at least that's how we see it. So what we're seeing with the pyramids is because of the witness's experiences, history, culture, and ideas, which is really cool to hear. The mentions of the witness are quite puzzling. Now just looking at the witness, we can see it has many forms merged into this one appearance. The heads flowing out of its head, and the phasing through time effect in its appearance. Makes me wonder if the witness took in all of this history, culture, and maybe even merged with other beings that it's come across and became what it is today. A vast knowledge of the universe and how space and time works. Or maybe just one being through multiple timelines merged into one. I don't have the answers, but it's cool to think about with what Demo provides. What are the Black Fleet's designs aesthetically communicating to the player? The pyramids represent the highest level of power that we've seen in the Destiny universe so far. They are far more inscrutable than anything we would see from the Cabal or the Fallen because we don't know the full limit of their power or how they will behave. They're an unstoppable force that is responsible for the greatest calamity in humanity's history, the Collapse. In contrast to the Traveler, they bring a heavy sense of dread and hopelessness. However, they also beg to be explored. Their enigmatic nature provides small glimpses into a world beyond our own space and time, revealing clues about the vast history of light and dark, and showing us that things are not always as they seem. So an overarching theme for this whole article and the design of the darkness seems to be how ancient they are. Many races have come and gone, each have their own history, and some have even taken control of their own pyramids in Disciples. These pyramids, the Black Fleet, are meant to bring dread and hopelessness, causing collapse and death of civilizations, but also begging to be explored, the secrets within revealing the truth beyond space and time. This article was super cool to read, and as a fan of the game, it's always great to see the influences some of the artists and developers at Bungie have when it comes to developing pivotal forces and characters like the Darkness. But anyway, Guardians, that's all we got for today's video. The link is found down below if you'd like to read the article, and I thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to see some more Destiny lore and mysteries just like this video, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next video.